Oh my goodness, good morning Sunday. It is Angie Bloom, I'm popping on quickly. I Yesterday I had an amazing training um, with Beauty Counter, who knew lipstick could be so revolutionary. And this Safer Beauty Cosmetics Arena, I am just being pulled into, which the gravity is so strong and I know that I have a platform to share my message and I will continue to do so. But today at our training, or yesterday rather, is there was a lot coming up about confidence. And I thrive in this environment when we're working on mindset and confidence. And I truly believe confidence is an asset that shines through personal relationships and even your own relationship with yourself. And it extends into the relationship within your workplace too. I know everyone respects a person with confidence because with it, you are basically investing your heart and soul into something you feel so passionately about. It also shows how you feel about yourself. If you aren't going to have confidence in yourself, why would anyone else? Why would anyone else, right? Why? So you can't possibly expect people to support you if you do not believe in yourself first. See, if you aren't secure in who you are as a person, let me ask you this question, how can you ever move forward in life with ease? And I truly believe that the honest answer is, you truly can't. Why? Because you are stuck being too nervous and self-conscious to be able to move forward. But instead, maybe instead of concerning yourself with the opinions of others, how about you try this? Live your life for yourself. Do things that make you so incredibly happy and that truly interest you. Let's say that an opportunity arises that you want to explore. You know what I want you to do? I want you to just do it, do. Get out of your head, maybe lead a little bit more with your heart and your soul. For you to get more comfortable in your own skin, I compiled a little bit of list of tools that I have used to make sure that my confidence is always running on high. One of the things I always do is I always make sure that I am relatable or I have a story, especially when I'm in a group of people that maybe I don't know too well, or I really make sure I listen so I can ask the right questions or appropriate questions. So I demonstrate like an inquisitiveness, asking the people questions and really truly being genuinely interested. Another thing that I really focused on um, when building it was making sure my posture was correct because no one wants to talk to someone who is massively slouching over or really truly doesn't have their head in the game. There's another big one is stop worrying about what everyone thinks. So instead of you worrying about it, I want you to concentrate on what you want to communicate. Things like asking really good questions and not engaging in like the time wasting small talk and really looking truly at people in the eyes. If your inner critic shows up, I want you to practice mindfully to get rid of the negative self talk. I always think back of how would it make you feel to sit next to someone and all you hear them say is, I'm so fat, I'm so dumb, I'm so ugly, I'm so incredibly slow. It's pretty harsh, right? So with that, I want you to nurture yourself within your own thoughts just as you would with someone else. One of the other things I love is a huge smile. You can never underestimate a genuine smile. The other thing that I absolutely love is get stronger. And maybe that means you take up a new physical activity to build your confidence. This is the one that I truly thrive in and that I truly love. The last piece is learn from your mistakes. 
without dwelling on them. When we are confident, we understand, we all understand that no one is perfect and that we all screw up, right? But it's not the end of the world. Ask yourself in that moment when you're being so tough on yourself, will this truly matter in three months? This always helps me put it into perspective. I'm gonna leave you with this quote, which I truly love from Teddy Roosevelt. It's, it is, each time we face our fear, we gain strength, courage, and confidence in the doing. You guys have the best Sunday. Go out with confidence, radiate it. Have the best week, guys.